In this example, we're going to look at a velocity selector. So first off, what is a velocity selector? Well, it consists of a pair of fields, an electric field and a magnetic field, that are crossed in space. And I will send in a particle with a charge plus Q, mass M, and an initial velocity V into these fields. My question is, what are the path and speed of the particle in the apparatus? So, let's draw a free body diagram for this particle while it is immersed in the electric and magnetic fields. So, I'm just going to uh, get rid of that velocity vector just to clean up the diagram a little bit. So, the electric field creates a force down on the particle. That's because this is a positively charged particle and the electric field points down. The magnetic field creates a force up on the particle. Why is that? We can use the right hand rule. V points to the right, B points into the page, and so force points upward. Now we can sum these forces. So the electric force plus the magnetic force must equal M times A. I can sub in Q times E for the electric force, QV cross B for the magnetic force, that equals MA, and I can factor out the Q. Now, at this point, if you give me an arbitrary electric field and an arbitrary magnetic field and an arbitrary speed, I can plug all, all these numbers in and calculate an acceleration for the particle. The acceleration will either be up or down. But let's say now I don't want any acceleration. I want this particle to pass through completely undeflected. So that means acceleration is going to be equal to zero. So Q times E plus VB sine theta equals zero. That's because since the particle is not deflecting in any weird way, we can simplify our cross product. And now let's solve a little bit more. So I can divide out the Q since Q is just a constant. I note that the angle theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field. Well, in this case, velocity is pointing straight to the right. Magnetic field is straight into the page. So sine of 90 is just 1. And I can rearrange everything, and I get v is equal to e divided by b. And I can get rid of the vector and magnitude signs just to make it look a little bit neater. So what does this mean? If we send in a particle with a velocity e divided by b, it will pass through this velocity selector completely undeflected. If the velocity is slightly bigger than e over b, it will be deflected upward because of the magnetic field. If it has a velocity slightly smaller than E over B, it will be deflected downward because of the electric field. So, a few final thoughts. First off, an electric and magnetic field pair can constrain the path of a charged particle. The final speed of the particle only depends on the electric and magnetic fields. So try analyzing this velocity selector using a negatively charged particle instead of the positive one, and try it again analyzing it with the electric and magnetic fields reversed. So I would like to give a quick acknowledgement. The right hand rule image on slide number five is provided courtesy of Dr. George Watson of the University of Delaware. So thank you very much.